Hey, what's going on? My name is Jay and in this video, I want to teach you how you can use an API very quick and you can get data and you can start creating anything you want. In this example, I'm going to use rapidapi.com. It's a very cool website that you can search for a lot of public APIs. Um, there's some private APIs. There's some freemium APIs, which means you they're free, but then you get to a quota and then you have to pay. Um, but there's a lot of free ones and for this video we're going to use a free one that is for uh, movies and tv shows it's called imdb and we can do something like this for example getting um the posters of those uh, tv shows or movies and we can get the title and we can get a lot of more data but this is like a very very simple example that we can do right now very quick so let me just close this this is our page totally blank there's nothing so let's get started i'm gonna go to rapidapi.com make sure you create an account after that you can go to your app so my apps i'm gonna click there first and we need to create an app all right um as you can see it's total this there's nothing here so i'm gonna click add new app you can name this whatever you want um i'm just gonna put movies simple um you can add description thumbnail and I'm good. So I'm going to click save. And they will going to give you the API key, which is the one that you do not share with people. Um, but for example, you can click here and show it to everyone. Do not do this. I'm going to delete this app right after I finish with the video. So it's not going to work for you if you use this one. But um, this is the API key that you're going to use. And every time you go there and request for data, um, this is the one that is going to be like, okay, this many people requested data and at some point you're going to get to a limit and maybe it's not stop going to stop. It's going to stop working or you're going to pay for it. All right. We're going to use a free one. So let's go to API hub. And you can go through the list and just find it, but I'm just going to search right here. I am DB. Here it is. Click. All right. And right here says, you know, your app, we only have one, but if you have multiple, you're gonna see a huge list. So I'm gonna click movies. The URL stays right there, rapid API. And then you can see here your um, API key. You can maybe have multiples too, but this is the only one we have right now. And as you can see here, there's a code, but we cannot use it right now. We need to subscribe to this API first. There's a subscribe and test to test button. So let's click there. And here is where you're going to see if it's, 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 if it's free, if it's not, and all that. So we're going to do the basic, which is just $0 is free, but you get 500 um, requests a month. After that, it's going to stop working. If you want to use it um, more than that, then you have to pay. Okay. Some of them, um, you have to just pay here. You subscribe to this one and you just pay for, um, let's say 500. And then after 500, you have to pay for each request. Um, most of the time it's less than one cent is very, but um, you can see all the, all the other options here. I'm going to subscribe to the free one, click subscribe. And there you go successfully. Um, and then you, what you can do, you can just go back here to or actually I can go to endpoints. Let's go to endpoints. All right. So now we can start testing like this code and endpoints, whatever you want. So you can see here, you have all the list of like endpoints that you can use. Um, I'm just gonna go very basic. And there's a query parameter here, which I think is just search. I'm gonna search for game. Um, and here you have the code snippet. So I'm, I'm going to use JavaScript fetch. As you can see, all the languages are here. Um, I'm just going to use fetch. And there is like the code snippet, which is really good. We can just copy and paste it. But you can actually test it. So let's go test endpoint. And here we go. We have data. So we have a list of eight items right now. Um, if you open it, you can see um, the second one, Game of Thrones, TV series, the rank. And there's a lot of data you can use here. 
um, first ones, good game. So let's go ahead and use this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the code snippet. I'm going to copy and I'm going to go back to my um, code editor and let get started. All right, this is my code right now. I just created a very, very basic HTML. Um, I have a JavaScript file and a CSS file, both empty. We're going to add some code. So first thing inside my body, I'm just going to do a simple diff. Whoops, sorry. Uh, simple diff with, it can be movies. Um, there we go. Empty diff that we're going to get um, and put all the list, all the movies inside. And I'm going to do the, I'm going to add the JavaScript file. Now let's do the source and I'm going to do main dot JS, which is the one that we have here, but it's totally empty. So there's nothing's going to happen. I'm just going to save that to have it. And now we can go here and paste all the code snippet that we got from um, rapid API. So paste it right there. All right. So if I save this, Let's go back to the page. Um, you can see it's just constantly logging the response um, of this. So let's see what that is. Let's just open the console here. And here you go. It's just a response is okay, everything. So now we need to get that data, right? Um, which is JSON. So let's change a little bit that code that they give us, which is, I think it's perfect. Um, so all I'm gonna do is return this, I'm just going to remove all this and I'm going to return, return the response, but it's going to be in JSON like this. Okay. And then after this that I, we have, we can, we can do another, then we can get data. And then here we can actually console log data. All right. Let's see what happens now. Let's save it. All right, and now we getting this array, kind of the same thing or exactly the same thing we saw in the rapid API, API test. And there you go. We have Squid Games, Game of Thrones, all these uh, shows or movies. So now we have the data. Let's go ahead and use it. So go back to the code. And what I'm going to do now is Let's put some brackets. I'm just going to remove that console log. And let's just do, um, so we have a list, an array. We have to go through, like through the array and then put it somewhere in the HTML. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create first a, um, a variable and I'm going to do the list and that list is equal to data dot. And if I'm not, I think it's D and that's where all that list is saved the array. Okay. And now you can do list. We're going to do a map. And then inside this map, we're going to have an item. which is going to be the whole, like each item. So each movie or each show. And now let's console log the item. See what we get. Let's go back, inspect this again. Let's reload. All right. And here you go. So now we have all the items individually. So now we can say that the, we get this um, title using at the L and you can get any other. Um, and the inside the I, we have the image, which we're going to use right here. There's a whole image URL inside that I. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back. I'm going to remove that console log again. It's just for testing. We want to start just creating variables. Um, the name of the movie 
is um, item dot l the poster is item dot i dot image url and the actual movie we're gonna combine all of them so let's go ahead and do this is gonna be um let's do a list on li and let's get the poster so image source equals to something here we can do the variable poster so that's going to be the image inside that image url all right and i'm sorry inside the image attribute attribute is going to be the poster which is the image url okay and then let's do an h2 let's add oops sorry oh, this is going this goes here and then let's add h2 which is the actual title or the name and let's do name and then at the end let's close this li like this and all right so now we have to add this li to this let's go back to this movies diff which is totally empty so we need, we need to add all those ai um, li so let's do document doc query selector let's just find that the movies with the move movies with s and then we can do inner html so we're just going to add some html inside that and it's going to be plus equal movie which is all these allies. All right, hopefully that works. Um, let's save it and see what happens. Go back. All right, we have something is kind of a mess, but we have posters. We have a very small title here, the name of the movie or the show. So let's keep scrolling. It seems like it's correct. So now we just need some little CSS love and that's it. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna copy and paste some. I have some CSS here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it very quick. I'm, I don't wanna waste a lot of your time if this is um, an API tutorial, how you can do that, it's not CSS. Let's just paste it right here, save it. Let's go back and here you go. The magic of CSS, huh? So you can have all the data, everything is working, but it's not, it's not gonna look good if you don't add some CSS. So here you go. Very quick and easy using the Rapid API. You got all the um, code from, from there. All I had to do is like add your own code, modify a little bit, but you get everything from there. Now I can go back for more on a different API, and then maybe you can connect them both and create an awesome application or a web app or mobile app, whatever you wanna do. That's about it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.